I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for dropping by. My name is Beth and today I am going to share with you some items that I got on a couple of trips with my friend Shelly, aka Tina. Now last week you saw Tina and I thrifting again. And of course, we were lost. I don't know what it is, but every time we get together, I guess we start talking and we don't pay attention and we end up lost. But the items that I'm going to show you today, it's a hodgepodge of stuff, but I've kind of got a lot of stuff and I want to show you some of those. Um, I'm going to show you some items that are actually old because Shelly bought these for me when she went to a garage sale. She messaged me, she asked me if I was interested in anything, and I was. And this was like February or March, I think it was in March sometime. He went to a garage sale and a gentleman was selling off his wife's collection. I guess she had passed, um, but it was all Ray Dunn and a ton of Ray Dunn. So she got me a few pieces and we're always owing each other for something. So I paid her to pick me up these pieces and this is the first piece. It is a massive pot of gold. So I think this was, a pr and now it's not a bank or anything. At first I thought it was either a cookie jar or a bank. And as you can see, it still has the TJ Maxx sticker on there. Um, it is Ray Dunn. It is just a holiday piece, like a centerpiece or whatever, but it is really, really big. Um, so she picked that piece up for me. She also picked up this brand new piece. This is a honey bunny. I think that it is a, um, like, a hot chocolate or a coffee. Um, I love this. I love this little thing that's on there. I'm easily entertained. Um, but it is a mug and the rabbit ears. Again, brand new with the tags on it. So I will be saving these for um, next spring. And then she got me one other piece of Ray Dunn, y'all. Um, and this, I love it. This one still has the price tag on it too. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. It says Chick Magnet. It says chick magnet. Y'all, it is so cool. It's like a little tiny jar, maybe a small cookie jar. I'm not certain, but let me show you what I want to pair this with because do you remember the video? Oh, I'll link it above in the iCard in the description below, but I was out shopping and I found this. Now it's already got the price tag on it, ready to go, but y'all look at that pairing. Is that not so cute? This is so darling together. So I think with some other of my chickens, and you know how I am about chickens, and this, this is gonna be cute. I mean, I think that it will actually go through the summer, maybe the fall, um, but it's really cute. I, I love it. All right, um, so I paid her for those three items. And then if you know anything about me, you know that I had a bunch of wooden spools. Well, unfortunately, I marked them and I was at a show one time and a lady brought it up to me and it had a price tag on it and I had to sell it, but I really didn't want to sell it. <laughs> um, so I've been on the hunt. She bought all of them that I had. I was using them as display pieces, but I thought it was fair since I did have a price tag on them to go ahead and sell them. So I've been on the hunt for some more and she had someone bring this into the shop and she picked this up for me and it was only $2, which is an amazing deal. This one even has the metal still on it. Um, has the turnkey piece there. So I'm super excited to get this and they look great in displays. So those are some things that Shelly, aka Tina, um, got for me and I paid her for those things. So now what I'm going to do is show you some items from the trip from last week's video. Um, we kind of stopped filming. I went to see her booth at a shop that she's in, in Katy, and we went to another shop that was across the street. So let me get you that bag and um, we'll keep on digging through the thrift haul. All right, y'all, so here is my bag. Um, inside here is a bag that I got from her shop uh, where I was shopping her shop and the one that she has a booth in. And let's see, I spent $42. I spent $42 at this shop. I don't even remember what I bought. It's been so long ago. I've had this stuff just sitting over there. 
but I need to get busy and get it. Oh, I remember. I need to get it shown to you. Okay, the first thing that I got was this little golden book. It's called The Quince clean up and do you remember that i have a set of the quince dolls not only do i have the paper dolls for the quintuplets but i also have the little tiny miniature dolls. what i thought i would do would be pair these i want to put the book with the little dolls um, and if i can find where i've stashed the dolls i will insert a picture otherwise i gotta look for it um, now this was about it was on sale. She had it marked $3.95, but I think there was a sale in there. But my dolls come in a little bed. Well, it's a little cloth pouch, um, and it has the quince in there. But it's in great shape, but I thought I would put this as a pairing together. So that's what I'm going to use for that. And the rest of it, I know this is going to surprise you, it's all jewelry. So let me show you what I got. <laughs> Um, they have it in all these little cute bags. I got this owl, and it's a gold tone uh, little pin. Well, it's not little. That's probably, what, about two inches, two plus inches, and it has green gemstoned eyes. So, yeah, this one was super cute. I also got this one, which I think is probably a um, mother's, mother's pen or mother's day pen a family pen because these look like some smoky gray topaz here and then some rhinestones but I, this might be a mother's day pen but it is super pretty i'm trying to use the light more often so y'all can see that uh then i got this because there were two pens for the price of one so let me show you two little bunnies that are rhinestones. Now those are the push pins um, for like jackets or whatever, but two little bunnies, I got that. So I'll be putting that away for Easter. Then I got, here's another one. I got a butterfly. I love the butterfly with all the colors. Oh my gosh, that's really, really pretty. And I haven't looked to see if they're marked. I actually have just now taking them out of the shopping bag. I know, it's that's bad. Um, I got this one for Dolores, which is another reason that I wanted to do the haul. Now, she's already received this by the time you see this video. But um, I got her this one. It's a little cat with the collar and the little red eyes. I thought that was darling. And then, because who doesn't love a turtle? Oh, I'm going to hold it up. Here's a little turtle with some faux pearls on it. That I thought that was really cool. And then this one, I could not believe I found this. Right, okay, look at this brooch. Isn't that beautiful? So when I was shopping, I was like, oh, you know, let's always test it to see if it glows. Let me, I don't know because the light is on if you are going to be able to tell, but you see, it does glow. It's a glower, y'all. It's a glower. So uh, that one was really, really fun. I don't even know that they knew that that would fluoresce. And again, I have not looked to see if there's a make or marker. I just took these out of the bag, like I said, today. So I did get, let's see, three four, five, six, seven pieces of jewelry, all pins, all pins, um, and the book. So that's what I got at the little shop that we went to where she has a booth, and I spent $41, oh, I spent $41.51, $41. Then we went across to another um, shop that is like in the same area, and we went in there because Unfortunately, one of our vendor friends from Vogelsang Antique Emporium um, passed away very, very unexpectedly, and he had a tremendous amount of stuff. He's in multiple, multiple shops. He used to do um, Bar W Field in Warrington at Round Top. Um, he just had a tremendous amount of stuff, um, and his family was, of course, wanting to quickly liquidate that, and the shop that he had um, some stuff in over in Katy was running 65% off of his things. So, 
The only way that I knew to kind of support and help his family was to see if there was anything um, that I was interested in and pay them for that. So I found quite a few things. It's everything in this bag, but I don't think that there's a lot. I do think there's some bigger things. One of the things that I got, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. It is a child's metal um, table, folding table and two chairs. So I did get this. I got this for the purposes of display. I want to put it on top of another surface like a table when I'm at shows or in my booths. Um, and that gives me some height. I can put some things under the legs and I can put some things on top. So I did pick that up. Um, it was a great deal. And as my friend Shelly said, I can even use magnets on the back, uh, maybe some vintage magnets on the chairs and stuff like that. So I'm super excited to have that piece. I always love a good show piece. So I did pick that up. Um, the other thing that I picked up is this golden book. Now I have one of these, but it's missing the clock face. Um, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about that. I'm, I think it's missing this whole little section. This is what it is missing because I have the first page. So I'm not really sure, um, what to do with the other one. But when I found this one, I thought, yes, I'm definitely going to, um, pick this one up. I can't even remember how much it was. Some of his things were not marked and the ladies at the shop had to um, price it for me. I did buy this, another one of these, and I'm super excited. Y'all, I just need one more and I'll have an official collection. <gasps> Is there one in my booth in Glen Flora? There may be one in my booth in Glen Flora, but I don't know. I'm so excited about this. Oh, and this is a big one. Oh, look how cute they are back there. Love that. All right, let's see what else is in the bag. Okay, the next item that I got was, was not price. I don't know how much it was. I think they charged me $5 for this. I'm looking at the receipt. This is the store that I spent $42.22 in. So I got a package of Halloween stuff. Halloween stuff. So in here are, I'm just gonna show you, there are little pages of these pumpkin cutouts. But put hot glue these on a little toothpick for um, cupcake toppers or something like that. These are maybe bingo markers, maybe. I don't know what they use those for, but the possibilities are endless. Um, and then we got all of these cards. Black Cat, Blue Spider, Blue Eyes, Moon, Bat, ooh, Werewolf. That's a good one. Oh, this is cool. Orange owl. But wait, there's a yellow owl and a yellow spider. That's an old yellow spider. An orange spider. Here is a hanging bat. Oh, magic. I love that graphic. Look at that one. Oh, I love that. Yellow pumpkin. Now, I've never seen these, but orange eyes. White pumpkin, three skulls, let me see what else, pumpkin, skull, star, boo, <laughs> moon and cloud, you can tell I was a little person's teacher, eep, oh Dolores, look, Cat face. Oh, y'all, with the little um, metal flower frog sticking that in there. That would be so cute. And ghost. So I got all of those cards. I don't even know what I'm going to do with all these yet. So hold tight on that. And the pumpkins. I got this package for $5. Oh, plus it was, I think... No, they charged me $5 for those without the discount. Um, okay, let me see what else I got. I think this, was this the last thing? Oh yes, this was the last thing from this shop. And y'all, this is so massive. So I'm gonna show it to you and then I'm gonna put a picture in just a second. But look at this. It is a tree skirt. It's a latch hook 
tree skirt that is poinsettia. Now y'all, I dug this. I'm gonna put a um, picture right here. So let me talk to you about it while you see it. I actually dug this out from underneath a table. It is very weighty, so I don't know about shipping it, but is this not beautiful? This is absolutely beautiful and it's really big. It is really big. So I could not pass that up. Like I said, I dug it from underneath a table way in the back um, because our friend James, um, he just had so much. He just put it all in there. And then, of course, people had been going through it since it was 65% off. Um, but I absolutely loved that. I would have to put it down and then put the pole for the tree through it or the tree through it if it was a live tree. Um, but it, it is very heavy and weighty. So like I said, it probably wouldn't be a good item to ship. But if you are interested and once I get it figured out of how big it is and all the things, as always with any of my videos, if you see something that you're interested in, just email me right here at scprincess1 at comcast.net and I can let you know if it's coming up in a live sale, um, if it's already claimed, if I'm keeping it for myself or what I'm doing with the item. So again, all of those things, um, let's see, I got the spool, the um, tree skirt, the folding table, the Halloween stickers, and the golden book, um, $42.22 for that. Um, and of course, out of that, I'm keeping the uh, folding table and chairs, definitely. Okay, so that was the end of our shopping together with Shelly or the video you saw last week. But I did go out with Shelly again, just really quickly, and I decided not to film. I just kind of wanted to hang out with Shelly. We were supposed to be going to judge up my booth at Vogelsang Antique Emporium, and on our way down there, we happened upon the Women's Center thrift store and she said well since we're here let's just pop off in there y'all we were in there for two hours and 45 minutes we almost missed the shop going to it to judge my booth she bought a whole bunch of stuff um and i bought three things um just three things <laughs> and it was not 50 percent off day um usually i go there on thursdays but i spent six dollars and 83 cents and again, I only got three things. Um, the first thing that I got was this girl. Is she not perfect? I think she is absolutely amazing. Now, I think she was supposed to be on somebody's dash. This has not got the sticky side, but the other piece has the sticky side. We could probably go ahead and take that off, ew. But she is marked Made in Hong Kong right there. And of course, she is the spring so she is a hula girl and i thought this was an amazing find i was super excited to find that the other thing that i found was super fun for me it is a cheshire cat big mug now i i love this cheshire cat just because the grin he's got wonderful inside painting it says on the bottom authentic original disney theme park there on the bottom, but it is a very, very big cup. These have really good comps on them, so I thought I would pick that up. And then I got one more item at this thrift store, y'all. Just one more. And that is, and we were leaving, and I saw this. It is this beauty with the stained glass and the calla lily. So it's in perfect condition, but, but wait. It's a mirror. It is a mirror that is in perfect condition. So the mirror, and then it has the stained glassing on this side. Y'all, this is beautiful. Now it does have some weight to it. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Uh, but I thought that this was super cool and you know I love a calla lily. So I had to pick this up. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to give this up yet. Um, but we shall see. I'm going to clean up a little bit with this with a uh, magic eraser. I think that will be fine. But like I said, the mirror part of it is really good. It's in really great shape. So a total, I spent $6.83 on all of those items. And then the mirror wasn't even priced. Then we made
made it finally to Vogel saying, and um, we were taking out some old inventory and I was picking some things for some upcoming sales and we put in a bunch of new inventory. And while we were there, one of our friends who works the shop said, oh, don't forget, James has a booth here um, and we are, you know, getting rid of the stuff. They, they said, whatever we don't get rid of, by like Wednesday or Friday, we're gonna be dropping off at Goodwill. His family has gotten everything that they want. Um, so basically, we were able to um, still shop his shop. So I got some things that my friend had already pulled aside. So we're going to be making a trade. I am trading her some things for some things that I found in um, the booth. Now, let me show you the first item that I got. The first item that I got was the Grandma Retirement Fund. Why did I pick this up? Because I already have Grandpa. So I have a Grandma and a Grandpa. This is now the official set. These are Lefton pieces. Um, they are marked right here. I just bought a whole bunch of new stoppers. So I will now have a stopper for both. Um, and she's in excellent condition. He actually had this marked $28. Um, but now I have the pair, so that'll be good. She's reading her little book. No chips or cracks in this. This is probably needs to be me, my retirement fund, because I will be a grandma before I can be able to retire. Um, the other thing that I picked up was this little glass baby bottle. Of course, they don't make those anymore. It does have the lid on it, and it's full of old buttons. I guess he just picked it up either full of old buttons or he filled it up with old buttons. Some of them are broken, so I am going to go through. Um, some people said they wouldn't have gone through it. They would just leave it as is. So let me know in the comments. Should I go through and take out the buttons that are broken um, and see what kind of buttons are in there? Or should I just sell it as is, just offer it as is and let the recipient go through um, and keep any of the buttons that are in there. So let me know in the comments what you think about that. I only got a few other things. Um, one of the first things that I got is another bank and look at this. It's from First Federal of Lincoln in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, it has it on both sides and it's a little plastic bank. Now, I'm going to guess that this is a baby's bank, like when you open a child's first account, that you would get this. Or if somebody had a new baby, um, they may give have given this out. But I'm starting to pick up a lot of piggy banks, and I'm not mad about it. I think that they're super cute. He's even got a super cute little tail there. So, I do like this one. He's in excellent shape to be plastic. He's not um, cracked or anything. He's in really, really great shape. So I'm excited to have that. And then this, this is another really cute piece. These are made in Japan, but y'all look at these. These are rolling pin with cherries, salt and peppers. So it does appear that there's might be some cold paint right here um, because the cherries have lost their paint. I may be able to fix that. I'm not sure. Um, I'll have to check. But I have never seen the little rolling pins. And they have the same number of holes, but I thought this would be super cute in a little kitchen display. Even summertime, that would be pretty. And they have their stoppers. He must have put some replacement stoppers in there, but um, I did pick those up. I thought those were super cute. And the last thing that I got for this video, um, because I have several other videos to film today, so if you see me in the same clothes, that's why. Um, I have several other hauls that I need to film. I don't know where they're going to fall in the lineup of my videos, um, but I'm working through some backlogs of some hauls, y'all. So I'm trying to get these hauled for you and um, get these washed up and inventoried so I can bring them to a live sale. And if you are not part of my YouTube family, I'd love for you to click that subscribe button. It is free. It helps my channel grow. And don't forget the notification bell. Click that to all so you never miss a video upload like this one or a live event. I do have live sales here on my channels. We do live chats and I'd love for you to join us for that. All right, here is the last group of items and I wanted to pick these up because I think these are pretty cool. Now, I'm probably not going to try to clean these. 
I'm going to leave them as is, but they are some older pennants. I have some Denver Broncos, and I am not sure one thing. I don't know which one it is. We'll, we'll look at it, but you have the logo. So be looking for the logos because I think one or more of these, the logo may have changed. Um, here's the Buffalo Bills. That's New York, right? I could be wrong. The Los Angeles Rams. Here's the San Diego Chargers. Oh, this one is this one is missing the little end piece. The Miami Dolphins and the Seattle Seahawks. Now maybe there's no change. I'll have to look these up and see if there were any changes to the um, emblems or the colors because that happens around here. So I did get these um, as well. I just picked through several. He had doubles of several of these and I just picked one of each. And like I said, I got these one, two, three, four, five items um, and I am trading my friend Cindy. I got these from her um, and I'm trading out um, some other items that she wants that I will show you in another haul. So again, we were helping to clear out our friend James's booth um, by just picking things that we thought we may be able to sell um, because his family was going to dump that. So thank you so much to James's family for allowing us to share in his love of vintage um, and to share all of the wonderful things that he um, was able to collect along the years. He had a wonderful, wonderful taste. So that's it from, what is that, Two Days with Tina? Two Days with Tina and all of the things that uh, she either brought to me or we found while we were together thrifting. Um, so if you enjoy this type of content where I show you what I got when I'm out thrifting and I do love to thrift for my personal use as well as for resale, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment below to let me know which item was your favorite. And until next time, y'all stay pretty and be sweet. Bye-bye.